Um, well, from, from modern famines, we know that the, the elderly and the very young are the most vulnerable. Um, and certainly, I think in modern famines, it's, it's particularly the, the very young who, who suffer the most because uh, once they, um, they become dehydrated, uh, it's very difficult to get them rehydrated. Um, so it's, it's a general thing with famines that, that that's what we tend to find. Now, uh, in the mass burial pits at St Mary's Spittal, we do get uh, a small increase in the number of younger individuals compared to the non famine uh, uh, group, however, uh, not statistically significant. So I wouldn't like to say too much about that. I don't think we've proved anything on, on that score. But there are other tests that are going on uh, where we can compare the catastrophic famine assemblage and the, the, the normal assemblage to see what we can find, how we can differentiate between the people in the mass burial pits and those who, who weren't in there.